it is monday i'm driving to class i literally have, did my makeup again in five minutes i just have on a little bit of mascara and all of you guys guys i ran out of my excessive lash well what happened was um i like was swirling the brush in there really aggressively which i know i'm supposed to do and it broke off like i was i i clearly have some arm strength because it broke off in it so i missed my excessive lash and i actually to place an order on sephora like today i ran out of my cab on d locket powder i ran out of um these like Shiseido cotton pads I used to wipe my face with like my eye makeup off. I know it's like really random. And I ran out of my one of my toners, my Sunday Riley toner I really like. So I forgot what it's called. It's like it's in a green bottle. But so I need to place an order today. But I'm driving to class. This week is probably my most school heavy week, I'm warning you. So um please be easy on me if like you're like, oh my god, you didn't do something super fun today. Like I have it's like next week is our technical finals week, but because I'm a comm major, most of my finals assignments are like a bunch of big research papers and like big projects. Mostly, I, I just use pa research paper to cover it because a lot of them are like papers, but they're all just research papers, I guess, at the end of the day. Like, I have two take home finals, but because it's basically like a bunch of short extended answers, I think I said this in yesterday's vlog, that need like, um, academic sources and so it's kind of that's like two research papers and then i'm working on my one um for my gender class which i'm actually doing a research paper on the free the nipple movement i know it's actually kind of interesting it's just like i don't know there's not too much like sorry like it was a bagel stuck in my tooth i had a bagel also thank you for telling me that everything bagel has milk in it i mean cheese and i didn't know so i got a normal one today but I also got a warm vanilla latte with coconut milk and an extra shot of espresso. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, like it's just like because it is fairly new. Like other than like it's just hard. My paper's gonna have to focus on just like I guess more on censorship laws because the, the movement is pretty new and it doesn't take more. Like it takes like four pages to explain what like what the movement is, how it started after the, the documentary, etc. But after that, like there's really you can talk about the celebrities that have like been a part of it. And but other than that, like just like guess there's just not too much like info on it. It is fairly new. I mean, it started technically in like what 2014, but yeah. So and that has to be like 20 pages. So it's kind of difficult to get that much like info on it when it's something new. If there was a lot of history behind it, you know, I'm just gonna have to focus on like modern day examples and I guess more like censorship law stuff. But yeah, if you want, I can post it maybe on my blog. Oh, it's actually so long, never mind. Maybe like some tidbits. Also, I'll be gonna ask me what happened to my blog. Basically, like, if you've been watching my vlog for the past like, few months, you know, like, October is kind of just like a messy bitch for me. And like, I, I think I did the vlog where I called, where it was like, I don't even know. It was like a vlog called like, my most honest vlog yet, where I had like this like awakening, basically. I mean, honestly, after I was like done being like upset about, I like, it was just like a whole, I was like, I don't know, I was just not feeling my best in October, so every time I, I try, try to write, I can't write if I'm not feeling good. Like, it would just be too emotional for me. I don't know, I just couldn't, and so I just like pushed it away from me and then I got super busy with everything else and I knew it, I literally said that that wouldn't happen, so it makes me really sad that I said that and then I pushed it away, but honestly, like, I tried to sit down and write and I just like, there was just, there's like nothing to talk about because I was feeling, I was not, I was feeling so low, like, not low, but just not myself that I just, I didn't have this like spark in me and I have it back obviously as you know like I'm chill now I'm fine everything went back to normal well like I grew you know but um so I will be starting to write on that more and my the blog is just planaslife.com so I will be back on that a lot of you guys really enjoyed it I got the most heartfelt comments I would cry reading your comments on there so I, I know how much you guys appreciate it and like enjoy reading it so it makes me so happy so I will be back on that I promise, like within the next, as soon as this, my, this week is over, all my, I have to do so much schoolwork this week, it's like psychotic. Oh, people get offended, I use that word, sorry. I just, I don't mean it like that, like, I have a lot of fun. I, I, it just, it's just like the way I talk, like, I don't know, I just like, have these like, slang words that I say, like, are just terms that I know, I just don't mean them to be offensive, and everyone I talk to is pretty like, liberal and chill, so I'm, didn't, it doesn't offend anyone, but I guess when I make a video, like, I forget that there's like, a lot of people who aren't as like, chill and like, easy vibes as me, you know? But, um, so I have to, like, I have to, like, also have, like, this, our, my final debate on Friday, and I literally, um, I'm to start preparing for that tonight. I just have a lot to do this week, and then I've, I also have to study for my really big in-person final, but that'll be good. Like, I know I'll do well. So, after this week, after next Monday is when my, my final is, Shadi's gonna be free, like, and then, yeah. I've been able to write more and focus on videos and stuff, which is awesome. Also, like, my parents are coming for, to visit me for Christmas, 
and a lot of people are like oh my god like why don't you go back to chicago ever like to visit and it's like i don't know like i don't and like there's literally it's cold it's boring i don't enjoy it and my parents are moving to California too. Like, you know, like I just, there's no point. And my parents are like, dude, we'll just come visit you. And also I do have Coco and like, all my friends are also, I don't know about, I think even Ollie's gonna be going back to like visit their family. So I wouldn't wanna really leave her. And I also like, I get bored there after like 18 hours, I'm good. And I'd rather have my parents come visit me here. We like do so much fun stuff and my parents love it here. So it's like, I hate the traffic though, but. So yeah, they're coming. Oh my god, what, like, what, what are you doing? Like literally, get like people, like people are about to pull out on the road and then like put their stick their nose out. It's like you realize you could hit a car doing that. Like okay, but yeah, I need to be when I'm not focus, when I'm like vlogging. I'm not like I feel like I drive slower because I'm just like more chill. But like honestly, sometimes I need to like cut people off. People are driving so slow. But um, that's like a lot. That's like later in December. It's like literally around the hol around the holidays. Holidays. But yeah, I'm super, super excited. What are you guys doing for New Year's? Do you guys have any plans? I don't know, I'm just like, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I know, like I do have a general idea, but like, I'm just so like mellow and chill. And like, I don't know, I feel like everyone's like, oh my God, I wanna like go and like out and see everyone. And it's just like, I'm like, Ugh. but like, imagine how cozy your bed and a glass of rose would be, you know? So I've been cooking Mexican food lately. I don't know. I'm like, I'm chill, it's a good Monday, how are you guys doing? Like, I try not to keep my, get myself stressed over finals because it's like, and the way I look at it is I have to, I already know what I have to do. I already know I have to write what X amount of papers, do these projects, whatever, and I, I already, I know I'm going to do that. Like I have it scheduled in and I know I'm gonna, I have time to st schedule to study. So like, what's the point of being stressed? Like, yes, it may be hard, yes, it may be, it's gonna be hard work, but like, I, I'm in, I'm in, I signed up for this. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna be shocked that I have to do work when I'm in college, like what, you know what I mean? And it's like, it says Ivy League Christian Preschool. That's funny, but it's Ivy spelled I V I E. But um, you know what I mean? Like people are, I like see everyone in my class being so stressed and like freaked out, and we have like the same assignments, and it's like, and for them like that's all they have to do, right? Like they, they just go to college and that's like their thing. Like most people, I I, I know like I'm an outlier, but like it's like for me, I just like, college is just like a one part of like my whole entire life, how much I have going on, and then that I'm not even like stressed. I mean like yeah I guess I'm not I don't like I'm not gonna make myself stress so like I hope that like I hope this like reassures you like don't worry like it's gonna be fine like you already know what you have to do you already have it scheduled and I'm sure in your planner mentally when you're gonna do it on what day so like don't even freak out you know what I mean like what what's, like what's the point of freaking out I know a lot of people have like tests and like step by step majors they're like oh my god I need to get this grade to get this and it's like Okay, but you already have time when you're gonna study. You know you're gonna study for it. You know you're gonna read over everything. So like, what, after that, like, you really can't worry. Like, you're gonna do everything you can. You know. So I hope that like helps you. I don't know. I just hope you guys know. Like, it's gonna be okay. I really believe in all of you guys. I don't want you to be stressed. It like actually hurts my heart. People are super like stressed, like crazy. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, please just it's okay. And I I do get sometimes overwhelmed. Yeah, I have those d days where I like. For me, okay, I like, I don't know, if this is the last thing I'll talk about because this vlog is getting really long. After, I'm just going to class today and going to spin class and then cleaning up my apartment. I ordered some latex gloves and some Windex wipes and Clorox. I'm so excited for it to come in today. I got one, like, same day shipping on Amazon because I just want to, uh, I want to clean up my, I want to clean my mirror so badly and I really want to Clorox parts of my room. I know it's like, I, I'm excited for that. I can't wait to have gloves to do because I hate when my hands get smell bad and get dry. But what, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh, I literally had something important to say. Okay, awesome. I literally just forgot what I was gonna say. I just don't understand. Okay, I literally am like, I'm so, I haven't woken up yet. Every time I'm like driving, I'm like drinking my coffee like half asleep. I had something important to say. I don't even know. I'm so sorry guys. I like honestly just I my, I I don't even know like I just was about to say something that I completely, I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. Basically, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna do great. It's gonna be so chill. It's gonna be good. You know, that's all you can tell yourself. So like you know, why stress yourself out, honey bun? Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Oh okay, no, I know what I'm gonna talk about. I was gonna say. I don't know about you, like, for everyone cries differently, right? Like, I don't know, like, different, especially like, different signs, like Pisces, you guys. Um, but, like, everyone, like, has, some people cry, like, at the drop of a hat. Some people, like, it's so hard for them to cry. For me, like, literally, I never cry. Like, for me to cry, he would have to hurt me, like, so deeply. Like, it's literally insane. Like, I, 
or and like I or I cry if I like disappointed myself so much that I literally feel like intense hurt which is like very rare um, but cause I try to like I again try to look at things as like lessons you know but it made a decision that later I was like mm, Shawty shouldn't have done that you know it's still like it wouldn't I wouldn't be who I am today you know with that that whole thing I agree with that I'm not gonna get into that but how about you like are you guys easy criers I just I'm curious like I just want to know like for me like if I cry like I have to feel like either I either feel hopeless if I'm crying like like something literally I'm like oh I because I'm always I'm very solution oriented and like my dad always taught me to be like that like if something happened I'm not gonna sit and cry okay what's the solution you know and that's like immediately how I think I don't think about like what I'm like I'm not gonna dwell over I'm like how can I fix it so um but or if like someone really hurt me like like that to the point where I'm like blindsided and shocked you know which doesn't happen often which is good you know so yeah I love you guys so much and I'm gonna go to class now I'm almost you know I'm not almost there but whatever um I'll see you guys so soon I love you guys so much it's gonna be so great it looks like I'm gonna be late to class it's okay though I just got a little speed up in class I'm literally exhausted like about to cry in tears like just literally drained so i post made this juice this uh acai bowl from la um from juice crafters they're, they're probably my favorite acai bowl in la so check it out hi and then and like about i'm gonna edit today's like vlog was supposed to be and then um what was i gonna say um and then i'm gonna go to spin and after that clean my apartment honey bun Oh my gosh, she's literally the love of my life. Was on this Jackson? Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make you dumb, make you dumb to cry. I apologize for truth and truth. Going, I just got home. I just, oh, you saw. I got home from like school. I was exhausted. I ate that stable, edited Vlogmas. Literally just click upload on Vlogmas and then ran downstairs to my car. And I'm going to spin. I feel so exhausted. I'm drinking my pre workout. It's Blue Raz C4 Blue Raz Explosive. A lot of you guys, when I said I drink it, I do two scoops. Were like, I would be careful. Like, I, it, and it's really strong, etc. And I know. So I try to like do less. Like today, I just did like one and a half scoops. I've never really felt too intense from it like I get like energized but I haven't felt like people say like you get I don't explain like I feel like when you take too much you you like you like just like feel very jittery and very like I've had that before but ever since I've been taking like one and a half scoops and drinking it like slowly and like 30 minutes before my workout it's been fine but thank you so much for like the warning I know it's not like natural it's not like you know what I mean so it's not it's artificial artificially made so it's not gonna be the best for you but like i said i only drink it like twice a week honestly when i'm exhausted after class before i go to sleep like right now like i literally am exhausted if i just got on the bike right now like nothing would happen but right now i'm going to one of my favorite teachers and like he has such good music playlists like he plays like rap and like it's just so good like he played black barbies by Nicki Minaj last time and i love his classes honey bun oh no honey bun oh no you think you're going there oh no girl Sorry, um, but some, but like when after I drink this, I'm like so hyped. My battery's dying. I usually have like the wor the wor the worst, the best workout ever with it, and like after I feel like recharged and just so happy and like full of love and like light, just like yeah, it feels so good after like working out because just like it, working out removes like all energy blockage. It's amazing because when you have like stagnant energy, you're not moving your body. The energy stagnant in your body. When you move it all around, you literally start like an energy flow. And so, like, you feel better. Obviously, endorphins, too. And everything like that. Like, oh, she's sliding. She's sliding. But, yeah. Mm. I'll vlog after my workout. I really like the song, too. It's called Ride the Way. Look what came in the mail. This, I literally ordered this. Oh my gosh, I ordered the new MacBook Pro when it was like literally released like a month ago and even when you, if you, I ordered it literally the day it came out and they were, had so many orders that it was like on back order and I just got it a month later but it's a new MacBook Pro with like the whole like touch, like the whole touch system and like the new keyboard and everything like that and I got it in the slate gray color. Like look, like these aren't even buttons, these are just like, these are all, this is all touch screen, like that's so amazing. And I got it in slate gray because, like, look how fucking sleek it looks. I thought it was supposed to come tomorrow, 
but I came today and I was gonna I was about to just be like I didn't want to put in this vlog because the vlog is already so long but honestly like I kind of have to because I'm about to set it up so I'm like setting it up right now and like I'm dying like Look at this trackpad. It's huge. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Like, I'm freaking Beautiful. out. Um, I'm just going to set it up, but, like, it's what it looks like. I'll show you more of the features in tomorrow's vlog, but holy crap, so excited.